So here we have the BMW 520D on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a four-door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors and loads of boot space as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the far left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge, then the speedometer, the rev counter, and the coolant temperature gauge. In the middle at the bottom, you can see the total miles of this car, which is 58,896. You can change information uh, that's displayed within the speedometer for various bits of trip computer information, and that's done by pressing the button on the end of the indicator stalk. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And over on the right hand side, we have our stereo and phone controls for the car. Just behind the steering wheel, the minus and plus paddles will enable you to change gear manually on this automatic gearbox. And then over in the center, you'll find the main screen for the car itself. As you can already see, as it's highlighted there, this car's got satellite navigation. This is BMW's business uh, sat nav. A really easy system to use, full color screen, as you can see. All of the movement I'm making on the screen is all being done using the iDrive system, which is essentially this dial. The collection of buttons around it will enter certain menus. You can see those labeled there. We're on the main menu at the minute. The dial will rotate. It will move to the left, to the right, up and down, and it will, of course, push down as well. Uh, so with, those, uh, with that level of control, you can do virtually everything from the dial. So for example, you can enter the radio menu. You'll see you've got FM, AM, and DAB. You can go into any of those you want to. You can go uh, back a page, again, all just using the dial at this point in time. Um, if you want to listen to your own music, go into the multimedia menu. You can see you've got a CD player, but you've got external devices you can plug in as well. So um, we have USB input, Bluetooth audio, and auxiliary input as well. So loads of ways to listen to your music in this car. Working our way down, we have the deadlock, so you can lock the car doors from the outside. We have the main volume for our stereo, the CD player, and then dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from here. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And then when you're happy with those settings, that's your air conditioning on. Same button to turn it off, or you can hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures that you've asked for uh, by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air. Press auto again, you'll go back to whatever setting you had it on previously. We have got a heated driver's seat with three heat settings and the same for the passenger side as well. We have some uh, storage inside here, two cup holders and also a 12 volt charging socket there. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox and then these buttons next to it. So we can turn off the traction control. We can change the driving setup of the car. Uh, so you're able to put the car into sport mode, as you can see. Comfort, which is your everyday driving and Eco Pro. All from these buttons here. We then have electronic handbrake, we have auto hold function, and we can turn our parking sensors on and off from there. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.